Remember a few weeks ago when the world junior record in the men's 100 and the world junior record in the men's 200 meters both went down on the exact same day? In the 100 meter dash, we saw Letsile Tobogo from Botswana hit a time of 9.96 seconds, taking down the previous world junior record of Trayvon Bromel by just 1 100th of a second. This performance was amazing, and Tobogo even jogged his way through the finish line here. But then, just a few hours later in the 200 meters, we saw the 18-year-old Arian Knighton absolutely destroy his own world junior record in the 200, achieving an almost inconceivable time of 19.49 seconds, which now makes him the fourth fastest 200 athlete of all time. These two achievements were amazing, and to see them both go down on the same day made April 30th of this season one of the most action-packed days of sprinting that we have ever witnessed. And even though this double record-setting day was quite incredible, imagine this. What if just one athlete did something like this, throwing down two separate performances over the course of just a few hours that captivated the entire track and field world? Well, that is exactly what happened in this year's outdoor SEC track and field championships. But instead of just two performances, we saw three separate unforgettable moments from just one very talented athlete. On May 14th of 2022, the SEC championships were set to have various finals go down in Oxford, Mississippi. For this final day, we saw many of the most talented athletes in the world right now achieve some of the fastest times that we have seen in 2022. But there was one athlete from the University of Arkansas who achieved something so special that it has never happened in the entire history of the NCAA. In the women's 400 finals, the fastest athlete in the world right now, Cherokee Young from Texas A&M, was set to clash against a very strong field, which included the extremely quick sophomore, Britton Wilson. After a fair start, both Young and Wilson, running in lane 6 and lane 7, got out strongly with the rest of the field, and over the opening 200, Cherokee Young put a little bit of distance over Britton Wilson. Through the halfway point, Young was now firmly in the lead, and she was looking very strong coming just past the halfway point. But following still very close behind was Wilson, making sure to keep close contact with this year's fastest woman in the 400. Coming down the home stretch, Britton Wilson found herself running away from Cherokee Young, and with a finishing time of 50.05 seconds, she not only won this very competitive SEC title, but she broke her school record by two tenths of a second. This was a beautifully executed race. She maintained her poise through the opening 200, and just when it looked like Cherokee Young might run away with this title, she slowly but steadily reeled her in, showcasing incredible strength over the final 100. This was a big moment for Wilson, as this marked her very first individual SEC title. And at 50.05, she just became the third fastest female athlete in the world for the 400 in 2022. However, over the course of the following two hours, Britton Wilson would prove to the entire world that she was just getting started. Exactly one hour after this 400 title, Wilson returned to the track for the women's 400 meter hurdles. Now before this race, she was ranked number two in the world in this event at 54.37 seconds, only falling behind last year's Olympic silver medalist Dalila Muhammad of the United States. But after this SEC championship race, her world ranking would jump up to number one. Just like her previous 400 meter race, Wilson was running in lane six for this final. And just like she did one hour previous, she executed this race with extreme maturity. Over the first half, Wilson maintained a solid pace, even though the athlete to her outside, Anna Hall from Florida, had taken the race out very fast. Coming around the final bend, Anna Hall still had a slight lead, but then over the final 100, Britton Wilson absolutely stormed to the finish line, and with every single stride, she only put more distance on the competition. With a finishing time of 53.75 seconds, she took down her competition by about 10 meters, and once again, she broke her school record in this race, and this was also the fastest time in the world for 2022. This double SEC title in the 400 and the 400 hurdles was already historic. Throughout the history of the SEC championships and the NCAA championships, no athlete had ever won the 400 hurdles and the open 400 in the same meet. 
meaning that Britton Wilson had just achieved a very unique double in one of the most competitive conferences in the NCAA. And even though she had already made history, she still had one more race to go, and this final performance just might have been the greatest of them all. Just 90 minutes after running the fastest time in the world for the 400 hurdles, Wilson returned to the track for one final race, the women's 4x400 four meter relay. Now for this relay, Wilson was set to run the anchor leg for Arkansas, and even though she had already achieved two titles over the course of just one hour, she somehow still had something very special left for this final performance. Upon receiving the baton, the University of Arkansas was in fourth place, about 15 meters behind the leader Kentucky, and still a good distance back from Texas A&M in second, and also South Carolina in third. For the first 200 meters, Wilson was moving, passing South Carolina pretty effortlessly, and she also had her sights set on Cherokee Young just in front of her. Over the second half, Alexis Young from Kentucky and also Young from A&M were up front flying, running at a pace well under 50 seconds for this final leg. But so was Britton Wilson, who again started this final 400 about 15 meters behind. Down the home stretch, Wilson made a valiant attempt to catch the front two athletes, but ultimately, she would have to settle for third place. And even though she was unable to bring home her third consecutive title, she actually ran the single fastest 400 split of the day at 48.59 seconds, which is not only one of the fastest splits in collegiate history, but it's one of the fastest 400 splits in the entire history of the 4x4. According to alltimeathletics.com, Wilson's 48.59400 meter relay split currently ranks her as the 13th fastest female athlete in 4x400 history. As you can see, this list includes many of the greatest 400 athletes to ever compete, and now just barely outside of the top 10 is Britton Wilson from Arkansas, who is still improving, and again she won two consecutive titles before this performance. Just amazing. Wilson's exploits at this year's conference championships were unbelievable. Never before had we seen an athlete win both the 400 hurdles and the open 400, but to come back and run a 400 split of 48.59 is truly some next level running. And given this outstanding triple performance, I can only imagine how fast she'll run as this season continues. Thanks for watching everyone. And as always, until next time.